I love AutoHotKey because we can use it to automate pretty much anything on our computers. We're able to, you know, launch programs, launch files, uh, send virtual mouse clicks and key keystrokes uh, from the keyboard. Um, so I love using AutoHotKey to do so many things. My philosophy really is automate everything. Um, so one of my frustrations with just using AutoHotKey alone that led me to creating the AutoHotKey command picker was that I would find myself creating scripts to automate tasks, but then I would get stuck at trying to assign my script to a hotkey. There simply weren't enough hotkeys available for me to use. Uh, you know, there's only so many keys on the keyboard, so if you only have, you know, two, three, five, maybe ten scripts that you run regularly, um, it's not really a big deal, but once you get into, you know, 20, 50, 100 um, scripts that you that you run, you know, 100 little tasks that you have automated via auto hotkey, um, it's pretty hard to assign hotkeys to those. Um, one, there's just not enough keys on the keyboard, and two, a lot of those hotkeys that you might want to use, they're already used by other applications. So maybe, for example, I want to use Control N to launch my script. Well, if I happen to be in, say, Notepad++, or Firefox, or some other application, Control N actually opens a new tab. Um, so now it would both launch my script and open a new tab, um, which is something that we don't want, right? Um, so that, that was my main motiva motivating factor behind creating uh, the auto hotkey command picker. Um, another one was once I have, you know, say 50 automated tasks or 50 scripts that I run regularly, I had a lot of trouble keeping track in my head, not 50, even say 10, I had trouble keeping track of which hotkeys launched which scripts. So I would wonder to myself, does Windows key A launch, you know, script A or script B? Well, I can't remember, so I'm just going to press it and we'll see what happens. Um, so that was another, another factor. Um, and another one was accidentally launching scripts. Uh, so let's say my hands just accidentally grazed the keyboard and I hit Windows key A. That might fire off a script that I didn't mean to send. Um, or maybe my fingers weren't on home row like I thought they were, or my cat walks across the keyboard, I don't want it launching these scripts by accident on me. Uh, so that problem is also solved by the command picker here because one, you have to hit the caps lock key to launch the program, then you have to type the name of the command that you want to launch, and then you have to hit enter. So it's pretty unlikely that you're going to launch a script by accident. Um, you may launch the wrong script accidentally, um, so maybe I Instead of hitting MS for media stop, I hit MP or something like that for play pause, so I have a typo, um, but that's just a user error. So that's why I was inspired to make the auto hotkey command picker, and I hope you find it really useful. Thanks.